Hi, I'm Michel, managing partner at i9 Partners. And today I'm at the stunning Adriatic Sea here in Croatia together with my colleague. Hi, I'm Christina and I'm information and knowledge manager. I'm here assisting Michelle with this video, explaining how to build the best CMDB using the CSDM framework by bringing in a whole new perspective. That is right. So we'll start by explaining why accurately reflecting your organization's data is crucial for a functional CMDB and how this supports both IT and business processes. Then we'll dive a bit deeper into the specifics of our homegrown concept, the CSDM layers. So let's get started and take your CMDB from a static repository to a dynamic tool that drives strategic and operational success. A well-structured CMDB is crucial for accurate service level reporting and effective IT service management. Building the best CMDB for your organization is all about reflecting the reality of your organizational estate into a tailored data model. The first step is integrating organizational data with CMDB data. Organizational data is about accurately reflecting the structure of your business and its stakeholders by leveraging the records described in the foundation domain, such as companies, departments, locations, users and groups. Pro tip, make sure to map the terminology of your organization to these records. Try not to introduce any custom foundation data as it has far-reaching impacts on the usability of your instance. On the other hand, CMDB data is about providing an accurate reflection of your organization's IT landscape in a coherent data model. It involves managing data within the CMDB and related tables, ensuring that data is found in prescribed tables for full platform value. When these data sets are brought together, they ensure that your CMDB mirrors the real world structure and functions of your organization. This integration is vital for accurate reporting, analysis and decision making. It's also important to involve different stakeholders. Business stakeholders make sure that IT initiatives align with business goals, while IT stakeholders focus on managing the technical infrastructure. Collaboration between these groups is key to maintaining a well-governed CMDB. Business stakeholders rely on accurate CMDB data for strategic decision-making, while IT stakeholders are responsible for the technical implementation and maintenance of the CMDB. Both groups need to work together to ensure the CMDB supports both business objectives and technical requirements. And here at this point, I also want to give you another pro tip. Make sure that your ServiceNow experts work uh, closely and early on with your enterprise architects to ensure that we stick to the out-of-the-box leading practices while defining the ultimate data model for your organization. To summarize, by following the CSDM framework, you can ensure your CMDB is not just a static repository, but a dynamic tool that supports your business goals by managing and leveraging the CMDB data effectively across IT and business processes on the now platform. Nonetheless, people should also be aware that the CSDM framework, like any framework, has a lot of room for interpretation, especially when it comes to defining ownership and the effective management of data in the CMDB. While CSDM domains are perfectly suitable for any data modeling discussions, we have developed what we call CSDM layers to provide a clearer understanding of various CMDB records in relations to their respective business context. So now let's dive deeper into the specific CSDM layers, the business layer, the service layer, and the operations layer. Each of these layers have a specific role in managing and leveraging CMDB data effectively. Understanding these layers will help you build a robust CMDB that supports both strategic and operational goals while sticking to the out-of-the-box leading practices. Stay tuned as we explore each of these layers in detail, starting with the business layer.
Well, that that was quite a journey, right? Ah, a bit sunburned, mosquito stung, sweat drenched by what was it, 33 degrees Celsius? At least. At least. Uh, uh, shall we round this up? It's time. It's time. All right. Then uh, let's continue with the business layer, which is also known as the architectural layer. It is designed to ensure that IT services and their operations are strategically aligned with the organization's business goals. It includes several important CMDB records, such as business process, business application, business capability, and information object. This layer provides a repository of business applications, capturing their ownership from a business perspective and their relationship with business processes. It offers the granularity needed for strategic planning, compliance, and long-term decision-making. For example, as a CIO, understanding the business capabilities supported by your applications helps in aligning IT initiatives with business objectives. You can also manage the life cycle of your applications more effectively, ensuring they continue to meet business needs and support strategic planning. Additionally, the business layer provides valuable insights into different departments. It helps you understand departmental needs, facilitate cross-departmental collaboration, ensure compliance and security, and optimize resource allocation. For instance, as an application developer, you can leverage this information to build and maintain solutions that meet depart departmental needs. Understanding which applications are critical to each department allows you to prioritize development efforts, ensure integration with existing systems, and support compliance and security requirements. This insight helps in creating applications that align with both IT and business goals, driving efficiency and innovation. Exactly. So now let's continue our journey in building the best CMDB for your organization by looking at the service layer. This layer contains both business and technical services, bridging the gap between business and operational aspects. The service layer is crucial because it connects business services to the business layer, documenting how the organization delivers value to its consumers, whether they are end users or customers. It provides a clear view of how services are structured and delivered to meet business needs. Business services within this layer are designed to illustrate how the organization provides value. These services align with business goals and ensure that what the organization offers is directly tied to its st strategic objectives. For instance, services like customer support or cor corporate email show how the business supports its users and customers. On the other hand, technical services describe how technology is managed and provided to support the business and its services. These services ensure that the underlying IT infrastructure and applications are reliable, secure, and efficient. Examples include database management or network, uh, network infrastructure. This dual approach ensures a comprehensive view of how services support and enhance both business and operational activities. By documenting both business and technical services, the service layer provides a holistic understanding of service delivery. Additionally, the service layer includes service offerings, which connect to the service catalog. Service offerings detail the specific options available within a service, such as different levels of support or varying service packages. This connection ensures that services are accessible and understandable to users across the organization. Understanding service offerings helps align the services provided with the specific requirements of different business units and operational teams. These offerings also create a bridge to the next layer, the operations layer. This layer focuses on deployment, management and daily operations of IT services, ensuring they are reliable, secure and efficient. Operational CMDB records are extensive, but can be categorized, though not limited to, the following parent classes. Application service, application, hardware, virtual machine object. This layer provides detailed data about operational status and health of configuration items, which are the individual elements of infrastructure and software required to deploy business applications as application services. This detailed data helps in monitoring and maintaining the IT environment. For example, 
As a business analyst, having access to detailed operational data allows you to understand the performance and health of business critical applications. The insight helps in making data-driven decisions to optimize business processes and improve efficiency. Application services connect to service offerings, linking operations to the service layer and allowing easy determination of service impact. This connection ensures that any operational issues can be quickly traced to the services they affect, facilitating rapid response and resolution. As an IT support specialist, this connection is invaluable. It allows you to quickly identify and address issues with specific applications or hardware, minimizing downtime and ensuring that services remain available and performant. Having a clear view of the operational status and health of CIs helps in proactive maintenance and timely troubleshooting. Exactly. So now let's bring this all together and round it up. The CSDM layers, business, service and operations, provide a co comprehensive strategic approach to managing your CMDB. And here is another pro tip. When defining CMDB implementation requirements, always consider the purpose of each layer to accurately determine where your data belongs. Use the specific objectives and focus of each layer as a guide. Don't place data arbitrarily without understanding its relevance to the intended layer. And that means by leveraging each layer effectively, you can transform your CMDB into a powerful tool that drives both IT and business success.